Well, hello, my lovelies. Hello, my hoes. So it's the middle of the night. I slept too long, but then it was, I got this date night vibe. And I wanted to talk to you all about summer date night perfumes. Now, normally I would have gotten it all together and glammed up, but honey, this skincare is skinning right now. And I was not going to mess with it to put on any makeup, any lashes, anything. So this is my, you know, summer just glowy look. Um, I probably will start doing some new um, videos, some shorts, makeup wise. I know this is a sidebar because I have a new light. Do y'all see this light coming in? Anyway, anyhow, anywho, let's talk summer date night perfume. All right <clears throat> now you know i live in chicago so summer date nights are some is a vibe because honestly we are we're so we we are seasonal people because it's so cold here in chicago so we are so glad to be out and about so for me summertime and dating and everything is really about the sun dresses the dresses the vibe, the sandals, just being out there when it's sunny and warm. Hold on. Y'all, I thought somebody was running in my house. It's the beats outside from somebody's car. Anyway, so when I think of them, I think of sultry nights. I think of, you know, rooftop uh, restaurants. I think of outdoors you know just being out and about maybe even on vacation um you know having dinner out with somebody on vacation because this that's that vibe you know and it's a very it's a very specific vibe for me outside of winter time because winter time dating is totally different usually about snuggling you know we try to eat <clears throat> you might have a nice beautiful dinner but ultimately you go on some place to stay warm with summertime it's a little more free i feel a little more sultry i feel a little more um you know um seductive during the summertime i really do how do you all feel during the summertime do y'all get those feelings it's like you know the whole kind of more skin showing you know being able to wear sandals and everything when it's warm outside for us people who live in different cold climates because some of y'all like honey we dress like that all year but if that's, but let me know. And let me just know. So when I, so let's just talk. So let's have a little conversation about that. Now, these are evening fragrances. Whereas opposed to, you know, you have your, I, I will be doing day date fragrances because there's a different vibe to me. Evening is more sultry. It's more, you know, um, seductive. It's usually, you know, you are doing a more, romantic these are more romantic more intimate dating and let's just be honest and sometimes it's just about you know we out here looking good and then we about to go back to somebody's house somebody's room somebody something and have some good times don't forget when you spray to hit the ankles and the inner and the knees behind the knees i would say inner thighs but i'm not a big inner thigh person and the reason why i say that is because Sometimes you don't want to, you know, you don't want to have that alcoholic vibe on somebody's lips. I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, that went that went all the way there, didn't it? Okay. So anyway, wanted to give you. A, so let's talk about these fragrances. All right. So we're gonna start out with two that you should have that everybody you know should be that you i'm sure you've heard over and over again in date night fragrance uh, per, uh videos so we're going to get rid of we're going to talk about these and then we're going to go into some other ones <clears throat> so the first one is going to be dolce and gabbana is the only one intense man i don't know i've been forgetting about this baby see that's what happens when you have a lot of fragrances or you're trying to always try to change some shit up and you know what? Good, good is good. So we're gonna do the only one intense. It's that orange blossom, that white floral, and that coconut baby. It is serving. It is rich. It is deep. 
It is seductive, honey. It is giving all of that that you need when you are going out. So if you like a, like, a beautiful orange blossomy white floral with coconut, you need this right here. This is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. Now this one... I always say she's the bad, the older sister, the bad, the bad, the bad girl of these two. This is La Belle La Parfum. Uh-uh. <clears throat> mm -mm. Uh-uh. You cannot go wrong with this. This is all you did. <laughs> Wear this whenever you want to. But this is, you know, jasmine. It's tonka bean. It's got a little pear in it. It's got vetiver. It is so sensual. It is just, but, and it's giving off that sweetness because let's be honest, a lot of times sweet is good. You know, when you're going out on dates, people want to smell that sweetness coming off of you like, Ooh, and that's real that, you know, no matter the gender, the, if you're in a romantic situation, those sweet kind of sweet yet, um, but with a little, um, richness like that vetiver is giving and that vanilla is giving it. Those are the type of sense, uh, senses that turn a lover on. And this is a head turner honey every time you wear it. So this is La Belle Le Parfum. All right, so next up I'm about to give y'all a few that you probably don't hear about, don't know about. So I, and one, I know, absolutely know that you've probably never heard about at all. So we're going to, uh, so that's one. So first we're going to start out with Sex and the Sea by Francesca Bianchi. Now, Francesca Bianchi has a DNA. She has a style. She likes very animalic fragrances. They're very sensual. They're very, you know, in your face. Um, and these little bottles last, honey, because you don't need a, a lot of these. I mean, my overspray game is only half on these. So just, no, I'm still going to overspray. This is going to be half. But this is a little more lighter. And it's a little, and and it has a seductiveness that, that I get out of a lot of her fragrances. But it's just a little more beachy, a little more summery. Because it has pineapple it has coconut in it and it has a mimosa now let me tell you it's not going to give you the pineapple coconut that you think of this is a very sophisticated a very um it's a very sensual very um this this reads like and this is just being honest it reads like a tropical vacation but it reads like bora bora like going to like if you were in like thailand or something where you're in a tropical setting but it's a very specific type where it's a lot more upscale so you're going to be a, like a up this is an upscale pineapple coconut vibe because the pineapple and coconut are a little more subtle they're not in your face like something like say if you used to like bath and body works pineapples and things no this is a very juicy but subtle pineapple and the coconut is just very underlying gives it a creamy sweetness and the mimosa helps to bring out that sweetness and then it has the civet it has her dna vibes but but it's a summertime and it's a little bit lighter than a lot of her other. I say this is if you want to be a goddess. This is a definitely sensual goddess fragrance. So that's Sex and the Sea by now. This is Sex and the Sea, not Sex and the Sea Neroli. There are two different ones. I don't have Sex and the Sea Neroli, but I do want it. All right. Now this one is an oldie but a goodie. But I don't even know if this was ever really popular. But this is Black Musk by The Body Shop. Now, I have an older version with this bottle. They do still have it out right now um, to get, but it has a different bottle. Now, if you know, there is something about the musk that The Body Shop uses that is very distinctive. So if you know um, The Body Shop scents, this will, you know, it's got that distinctive musk but it is a sensual, spicy musk. It has notes like pink pepper. It's got a little, and yalang yalang and licorice. 
And something about the licorice in this, because I am not a fan of licorice, works. Um, but this is very deep. This is very rich. It's got this black vanilla vibe to it, along with the musk and a little chocolate. So this is a very, it's very complex, considering that it's from the body shop and it's very inexpensive to get. I think it's around, you know, the $30, $40 range for 50 mil, but it just, it, it, it is like this kind of like classic sexy because it has a little spiciness it has that little um vanilla you know it's got a sweetness to it but that musk so it's giving you that sexy musk and if a musk is done like a sexy musk y'all know what i'm talking about it reads very sensual very in your face so this is um black musk by uh the body shop now this one we have right here is I, this is one I know y'all ain't nobody y'all ain't heard about this one. I promise y'all y'all probably never heard of this one. This is called Midnight Pearl by Ross Spirit, and I apologize because I have not talked about this in forever. But this is, mm, mm, mm. this is kind of like got an aquatic vibe to it because it's got a wateriness to it. But it's a it's a really good. Um, uh, Flor tropical floral. It's got tiari. It's got frangipani in it. And so it's just a really, it's got, you know, it's got this fl floral yet yeah, aquatic. And then it's got a little bit of spice to make it just a little more interesting. But what it really is, is like aquatic and it's this tropical florals. So it's giving you this like, um, watery effect you know like a very kind of aquatic vibe to it which makes it more which makes it very sensual and sexy this is like this would be something that i will wear honestly honestly this is like something that i would take on vacation because a it's a really nice size bottle it's 30 mil so you know it's not too large you could always have it with you you could put it in your purse but this is perfect for vacation and i don't say you know this is like perfect miami this is perfect vegas this is like wherever you want and but you're on a couple's trip where you are going to be hang where you're going to be with your lover and you all are going to have like a nice dinner but this is like more of the casual sexy as opposed to like you know y'all are going out and y'all doing it up right this is casual sexy this is okay you know i've got on my cute little dress and my sandals and i'm just trying to give you you this effortless summertime sexy this is a little more effortless on the summertime sexy so that is raw spirits midnight pearl now to now i have to be honest with you all that was sent to me years ago by the brand um but i'm like i said i've never heard anybody talking about it but it is a gorgeous scent so now next up i'm gonna give y'all somebody see i'm gonna now i could go with different ones and y'all know because everybody talks about them y'all know which one i love once i say this name you can just put in the comments which one you know i love and it's super sexy to me and i pro and i should put it in this video but i'm not maybe all right <laughs> but this one is brosendo matu's sweet rose you know su uh, there's sweetness is a good thing you know when you're going going out for sexy now this is a raspberry rose y'all this has got raspberries got strawberries so it's a berried rose it's got a little passion fruit but i really don't get that because usually that gives it a little tartness this is a sweet berry but the the passion fruit actually might be there to like not to like tame the sweetness of the berries but it's got strawberries it's got raspberry red berries Oh, and then it's got the rose in it and as it dries down you get the musk and a little vanilla this is a really just really classy vibe so this is classy summertime this is you know we're going out to a steakhouse or a nice seafood restaurant you know this is like anniversary this will be cute for an anniversary mm, this will be cute for like real talk you know you start to date somebody and you all are going out on a really nice date you know normally you know you have done the casual dating you know just trying to get to know each other and now the dates are stepping up 
right? And we're stepping up our dating. And then this, we put this on because the A, it's going to be like, it's going to feel special and it's going to be a little different than probably what they've seen from other people. So this is giving like, oh, this is a special night because it's giving off Rose and Rose is a queen of florals. And then you've got all this, this sweet, juicy berries. Ugh. And as it dries down, you get that musk and that vanilla and you still, and the berries still sit there. So you still get a little buried rose musk as it dries down. Ha, huh? sweet rose. All right. So now let's talk spicy. I love a good spicy fragrance and I, we just got to do some spicy during the summertime. So I've got you some spicy ones. These are for the spicy lovers. These are definitely date night because these are just a little too much for the for the day day dating because that's when it's really hot. You know, with these, you want this breeze. Any of these you do, any fragrance you do. But like if you got a good breeze and then it comes off and then there's this spiciness coming off of you, honey, you are you are letting them know, listen, I am not here to play with you. I am here. Mm -mm, we're not, I'm here, not here to play. I'm here to tell, I'm putting it out, the, I'm telling you what's happening tonight. So the first one I'm going to do, and <laughs> this one, we forget, well, why are we talking? No, I'm going to start here. So we're going to first talk about this one. And so when we talk about, um, you know, spicy ones, you've got to have some vanillas, right? So we're going to talk about this one first. This one is one of my favorites, Nuit et Confidant by Anit Goutal, right? This is a spicy, kind of like, got a little um, bergamot, so it gives it a little citrusy vanilla now they say that this is similar to spiritus double vanille by Guerlain. i do not know because i have not tried that one but this is a spicy vanilla got a little incense in it oh this is mm -mm. now i will say this one is a little more close to the skin it does not push out as much so you, this is more for um when you are going to be out someplace and you are going to be closer to each other. I'm going to say this. This will be really cute if you're going out to a party and with your lover. And it's a you know a little more dressed up summer party. Because a lot of summer parties, we, we you know, we chilling, we relaxing. But this is a more upscale, you know, less, you know, dressy affair. This will be perfect, especially if you all are going to be like, you know, just kind of like close to each other, sitting next to each other, as opposed to across from a table at dinner or something like that. So this is more of those because then that it'll be radiating off of you very close. So they'll be close to be like, oh, baby, that's what Nuit et Confidence is. Now, speaking of spicy vanillas, I know, can, can I just say one more time how it's so interesting how it really is rolling in Fragcom. It's like, we just be forgetting about, you know, it's like these, we love stuff. You know, people are talking about they love it and it's getting all the shine and then we, we throw it away for the next, you know, shiny, pretty thing. So let me just pull the baby out. This is Ani by Nishane. Mm -hmm. This is a spicy, sexy ass. Mm. It's got that ginger. That ginger is killing in Ani. It is so gorgeous. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this. I, I don't even have to say. Okay, yes, I will because I know not everybody's heard of this. So let me just give you what it is. It's got some green notes in it. So it comes off a little green when um, you start out. So there's a greenness to it, but it's ginger and it's pink pepper. It is spicy. It is gorgeous. And as it dries down, that vanilla becomes more prominent. And but you still get that spiciness from it. Oh, it's got a little rose. Mm, this is gorgeous. I, and will always be gorgeous. So that is honey. <clears throat> Here's another one that I think doesn't get enough love. But I love this fragrance. And this is Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. Now, to be quite honest, I've kind of gotten rid of almost every Tom Ford I own. But this one stays. This is a sexy jasmine. This is a spicy, sexy jasmine. It's got cinnamon. It's got clove. It is a, it is like a 
it's, it's just a spice garden with jasmine and it is so fucking good and it is one of those things that when people smell it on you they're going to ask you what you're wearing because it is just just giving off girlfriend vibes it's just giving off you know this is the woman that i need in my life okay so this is jasmine rouge now if you like the spicy ginger go with ruby red by uh, the house of food now i could have pulled out la entre de rouge because we know she's spicy she's the, she's the girl too but this amps up that spice and it's a little more white floral so it's like an amped up version of la entre de rouge because there's ginger on every level of this fragrance and there's a candy ginger which gives it a sweet spicy a slightly sweet spiciness baby this is gorgeous now like i always say if you have la entre de rouge you do not need this but the bottle alone and the spiciness could win you over i'm sorry did i say what this is this is ruby red by the house of Ooh. i'm all into what i ain't said nothing about the name huh i'm just like going off like yes you need it but let me just tell you there's a slight um citrus because there's tangerine so there's a juicy orangey vibe so it's like a candied gingery orange in the beginning and then all the white florals come in which is the um tuberose well actually the tuberose and it's got ginger flower and ylang ylang so it's a really interesting fr fragrance and that ginger sticks to you all the time but and you've got a sweetness in it so it's a sweet a slight you know giving you a sweet sexy tuberose candy gingered tuberose yes that's what i'm telling you it's gorgeous oh i'm sorry i almost forgot this one and the spicy ones this is a new one to my collection but baby and if you watch me and um shy sense me and jerry you know how he felt about this this is jasmine exclusive by man sarah <sighs> y'all this girl right here is killer. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to explain it to you. I'm going to let Jerry explain it to you, and I'm going to put him in right here. Mm. That has a, it's, it's smoky, it's sweet. It almost has like a, it smells like a woman in a club and she's been smoking, but she's also wearing a sweet fragrance and it's really, it's really sexy. It's giving me imagery of she's, she's sexy. She has a beautiful dress on like. You've been eyeballing her all night long as a man, and you just really want to get her alone. Like this one? Mm. You should have told me to start off with this one in the first place. Lady so, Stetson. <laughs> so let me tell you what that one is. And I just got this recently, and I told everybody the first time I smelled it, I said, this shit is sexy as hell, y'all. We all need it. This is Man Sarah's Jasmine Exclusive. Wow. That is so damn sexy. Mm. This is so damn sexy. This is Jasmine Exclusive by Man Sarah. That damn thing is sexy as hell. That Jasmine is kicking. It's got spices in it. It's got a little oud and leather. Some sandalwood. I I think it's sexy for everybody though. I know, I would love to smell it that on a man too. Okay, so Jerry explained it to y'all. So now y'all know why you need Jasmine exclusive. So let's go on out of the spicy range. Okay, and finally I got some newer stuff for my um some newer stuff that I'm gonna talk about, and then we're gonna be done with these. And I think I've given you every vibe that you need for a sexy sensual date night so huh, look we're just gonna rip this bandage off with narcotic venus 
by Nasa Mato. Mm -mm. This is one of the most stunning tuberose fragrances that I own. And this is a 30 ml. You don't need much. But if you are want to come out like a, like a flower, if you want to just glide through the room and turn your lover's head with a floral scent, this is the one. This is giving off just sexy tuberose. It is, the, and there's a slight spiciness to it, you know, and it's, I'm not saying spicy, but it's like this kind of, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, but it is definitely a tuberose vibe. It is giving white florals, primarily tuberose, honey. You, mm -mm, mm -mm. This, this is this is it. It's the tuberose. It's got some spiciness to it. That's all I got. Narcotic Venus. Now this is from one of my favorite houses. This is Beja Flor. By of course, Dream House of Curio. Let me show y'all this. Ooh, child. I just got this recently. He this just released. I did a swap with Vincent for something that he wanted from me. That he and so I was like, honey, just send me this. So Beja Floored. Let me just tell y'all. This is coconut milk, jasmine, and honeysuckle. Oh, yes, this is. It is give it is serving summertime gorgeousness. It is giving off that you know, it, the honeysuckle and the coconut milk giving in that sweetness, and then you got the jasmine, oh child with a must honey. This just screams summertime sexy. Um, and when you're wearing it, so when you wear it, you get this kind of sweetness, but you get the beautiful jasmine and the jasmine is very green, very beautiful. It's not indolic. It is like a more fresher yet sexy, you know, it's like just got enough in that indolic jasmine vibe, but still fresh. Um, so it's not too much and it doesn't overwhelm the coconut milk or the honeysuckle. This is gorgeous now this one now let me tell you if i was going on a first date and my first date was somebody was going to be dinner and we've been vibing like say we've been chatting on the phone you know we but this is going to be our first physical meeting and it's going to be our first dinner date this is what i'm going to wear this is trusardi's pure jasmine Baby, this jasmine and pistachio is giving life. It is jasmine and it is pistachio. And something about that is giving that sweet, sexy, kind of caramely, but jasmine vibe. Honey, with my pistachio body care, honey, they would... This, was def this is definitely somebody that I'm trying to impress. And I am feeling... Because I want to smell so good for them when we finally meet in real life. So this would be Trisardi Pure Jasmine. Now this last one I'm going to show you was not supposed to be in here because I just got it last night. But this thing is sexy. Not that we not like that I didn't expect it to be sexy because of the flanker that it is. But this is given, honey. This is this is giving it out and i just have to share this with y'all because right now once again i'm trying to i'm trying to give y'all something that ain't out here that for my frag con people because let's just be honest honey if you in our real world lives you not any almost everything we wear nobody's wearing but us let's just be honest most of the things that we are wearing a lot Honey, in real life, most of these people are not wearing the things we're wearing. They just not because they're not, they're not into it like we are. So, you know, we don't really have to worry about it. But I'm telling you because maybe you look you want something a little. Okay, this is Scandal Gold. Now this one has just hit the states recently. I I got it off a of Joma shop, but it is on FragranceNet too. Let's look at her. 
Now, this one was made for the Middle Eastern market. That's why it's taken so long to get here because this has been out for a while, but it just hitting the States. Honey. Now, you have to like a specific type of vibe. Let me give you the vibe. Let me give you the, this. When you put it on, it is, it's the th one thing that has that is the scandal DNA is the honey. But the honey is very, it's not as sweet and syrupy and thick as any other one. So this is a lighter honey vibe, but it's got spices in it. It's got cardamom, it's got saffron. So it's really spicy in the beginning. And then as you wearing it, you get the rose in it. And you get, it's got Cipriol, which from what I'm now I'm understanding is kind of like the poor man's oud, you know, because, because it gives off that oudish, oudy vibe. But here's the thing with that. So it's giving you this floral, like rose and jasmine, and it's giving you that rose oud kind of vibe with these spices on it. Now, let me say the spices are saffron. They're, what else do they have? Um, cardamom. So you have to like those because cardamom can be, you know, a little off-putting for people. I like cardamom in my fragrances. Um, and then as it dries down, you get this leather. So it's not for everybody because I like it because it's got this leather. So the leather starts coming through, but you still get a sweet, you still get this little honey, but it's like this, it's, it's a sweet icy kind of leathery with this floral these rose and this jasmine and then the leather comes in and the leather is serving and the leather is you know it's not new car leather it's you know that that uh leather that you know of like that jacket you've had for years and it's just perfectly worn in and you still get that leather scent that's what it's giving and <sighs> I will say I don't think it's as strong as like my scandal by night. I don't think so, but it's got but it's so just like it's just a stand out sexy sensual fragrance. Like I said, I unfortunately this isn't something of course that you're going to be able to sample. Um but for me it's it's a love, honey. She's a sexy love because the leather and the rose and the honey is giving me something right now and them little spices because i did spray it on a little while ago and then that's why i was like ho oh, ho ho so when would i wear this this would definitely be um let me let me just give it to you this would be if I've been dating somebody and we're finally going to go on and have, you know, get together and have sex. I'm just going to put it out there. I ain't going to beat around the bush. This would be one of those ones where we've been, you know, we've been flirting at it. We've been, you know, we've, we've got that connection. I'm feeling this person and we are vibing and, you know, now we are set. The sexual tension is high and we know this is what we're doing tonight because we've been, you know, we've been kind of hinting at it and, you know, who I can't wait to touch. All of that talk's been a flirt, the flirtatious talk has been going on, the texting has been going on, all of that's been going on, but we're about to have dinner. And it's like, we're just going to have a nice, and, and it's going to be a nice romantic dinner. And I'm wearing this because I am letting you know, listen, we, we know what we're doing today after, after I, I'm planning on being dessert. Uh, this, I'm going to be dessert. A spicy, sexy dessert. Don't worry, it's on my ankles. On the back of my neck. Behind my ears. I mean, he, the, the, they gonna be flooded with this fragrance while, the, while we are sitting there. Jasmine Exclusive would be the same too. Just so you know. Jasmine Exclusive is that too for me. All right. So that's are my summer date night fragrances. Uh, I should do a whole dedicated video to Scandal Gold because I never do vid like dedicated reviews. It's just, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's it for now, hoes. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.